Well, this is very, very interesting. So there are kind of two schools of thought here. And it goes back to the attendings question on falls earlier on. So at one extreme, you can simply tell people with Parkinson's disease, don't dual task because it increases the possibility or probability of falling. So if you're walking and talking, um, the likelihood of you falling possibly goes up a little bit. I don't subscribe to that, but I understand it. Mm. I think people should be, or I think, let me put it a different way. I think there are clear benefits to dual task training. So people learn how to dual task, to basically walk and chew gum. But there are also times when if you're out with a partner and they have Parkinson's disease, there are times when it's probably not a good idea to dual task. So for example, if one is walking outside, it's poorly lit. And if there's any curvature going on, you've now made the walking as hard as you can make it. Mm. Okay. And then if you now start to have a complicated conversation about what the Dow Jones has just done today, then that's not a good idea. No, and stress so, level goes way up. <laughs> what a stress level goes up and that gets really, really complicated. So the dual tasking studies are very important. Teaching everybody actually how to do multiple tasks at the same time is important, but it is very important to know that if one has the disease, aspects of dual tasking become harder. And one, it's really a question of playing within one's knowledge about oneself. And yeah. so I, I believe in dual task training and I believe in helping people to come to terms with their disease and the environment.